to South Carolina. We have arrived to Kings Mountain National Park. Very excited, very pretty in here. You can tell the season's a little later up here because the dogwoods are still blooming. You can see the blooms on the trees. It's supposed to be nice and cool the next couple days. Although tomorrow we're supposed to get some really horrible thunderstorms. So we'll see how that plays out. Kings Mountain State Park is part of the Kings Mountain Revolutionary War battlefield area. This battle was the war's largest all-American fight as both sides, the Patriots and the Loyalists, were American citizens. The Patriots side won their first big victory in the South, causing heavy casualties with no quarter given for much of the battle. The campground is big with a lot of close-together sites, and it was crowded since we were there on Easter weekend. Lots of diesel trucks just circling around that big loop. Unfortunately, it rained most of the two full days we were there, so we didn't get to visit the battlefield or do much outside until the day we were leaving. One thing I did have to do was take care of a flat tire. In the last month, we had finally gotten a spare tire. Finding the rim we needed was an ordeal because I didn't want to pay forward almost $500 for a new one. I finally found it on eBay for $64, delivered in about three days. Got a tire put on it and we were set. Before leaving for this trip, I'd found one of the rear tires was slowly losing air, so I replaced it with my new spare. Yay me. After trying to just tighten the valve stem, it was still leaking, so I took it to a tire place in the town of Kings Mountain. They found it had a very small hole in the inside sidewall, but didn't have a replacement in stock and wouldn't fix it. So I went to a bigger store further away and after about six total hours had a new tire for $190. Good way to spend a rainy day. Okay, hi everyone. It's been a very rainy couple of days so we've done a lot of cooking inside on this trip. So tonight we're having um, black beans and rice. And to top it off, um, we have onions, tomatoes, sour cream with some cream cheese mixed in with it, avocado, and sriracha sauce. So that's the meal for the evening. Thank you, Rhonda. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> It'll be great. We spent three nights here and the two full days we were here, it rained almost all day. And yesterday I had to spend half of the day dicking around with the spare tire. Got down into the 30s last night or low 40s. We are doing a hike this morning. We're so excited. The sun's out. We're on this, we think we're on a farm trail at Kings Mountain State Park. It's going uphill, so I'm a little out of breath. It's rained for two days straight here. We weren't sure if we were actually gonna get out on the trails at all. But um, it's, it's working out pretty good this morning. We have the RV all packed up in the parking lot ready to go when we get back to it really cool old farm homestead buildings here that's actually a modern bathroom on the inside but that wood is sure cool the farm at Kings Mountain State Park it looks like they have a barn a cotton gin vegetable garden corn crib weave house blacksmith shop chicken coop, outhouse, smokehouse, and the privy, and the home. There's a chicken coop for sure. Doesn't look like you can go inside. What if you can rent these? No. Eh, it's got air conditioning. I guess this is uh, old cotton gin. Huh? 2000, oh, what is that? 2196. Handkerchiefs. Boxer shorts. Guess that's a bale of cotton. Wheels turning. Something happens. Spinning around. Whoa, it's. This is rubber. It's stuck on the bottom. Must be old tires or something. I guess this is a corn crib. Unfamiliar. Guess you put corn in there to let it dry up off the ground air getting through it this is really a cool old farm all the buildings are are older made of this incredible wood it just really um 
reminds me of the way it was. Very well taken care of. Nicely manicured lawn. This really cool fence. And of course, the bathroom. So I remember my grandfather had something similar to this. He made cane syrup. And he had a, um, a horse that he put on here and the horse walked around and around and did something to the sugar cane and he turned it into cane syrup. Really hey man, well. yo big chicken, you the boss? He's saying put a quarter in the machine and feed me. Feed me, oh. Sorry. If only I brought money. Wooden shingles, log, big logs for the foundation, stone fireplace. I guess that's the well right there. There's an outhouse behind it, pretty much everything you need for a farmstead. Support a family, I guess. That and a lot of hard work and luck every year. This homestead is not all original, but it's very authentic. The Scotch-Irish immigrants that populated the Appalachian area had a legacy of hard work and not trusting the government. The family that settled here came in 1765 and sold their land to become the state park in 1935. They had to be very self-sufficient, farming, ranching, carpentry, metalworking, even making their own clothes. It was hard work. Thanks for watching. Next week we'll be in Charleston, South Carolina. Subscribe to follow along.